Hey everyone, today we're going to be covering skin tone in uh, Face Filter 3. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is showing you a couple of ways that you can adjust the skin tone of your, of your model uh, to something uh, more suitable, um, to reveal a more bright and, and radiant uh, skin, skin color. Uh, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this model here. You can see that her skin tone is fairly, uh, almost like an orange color. Um, a little bit, uh, a little bit warm anyways, it's a very warm color. Um, we're going to try and make it appear as, as if she has uh, less, less of a spray tan and more of a natural, natural color here. So um, uh, to start off, if you're, if you're in this import section here and your uh, background doesn't really matter in your image, you can actually go ahead and adjust um, you know, things like the temperature. You can see if I adjust the temperature that the, model, uh, the color of the model will change. Her skin tone uh, um, cools down a little bit. We could actually adjust the tint as well. And of course, that's uh, one way you can adjust it. You can see it really brings out the uh, green in her eyes anyways, if we uh, increase the tint. But uh, we're going to try to achieve something like this without using these uh, initial image adjustments anyways. So we're just going to go ahead and reset that. And we're going to go back into the uh, makeover section here now. I've already fit this model. If you want to know more about fitting, you can check out our Getting Started, tutor uh, getting started tutorial. Sorry. Um, so right here, um, I'm going to press uh, F7, and that'll bring up our content manager here. Now you can see in the content manager, there's a number of different templates. Um, I'm going to, we're going to mainly be dealing with our skin foundation section here, because that's how you adjust your initial uh, skin tone. So you can see when I select that, that a number of templates come up here below. Uh, we're going to focus on this color correction one here. If I go into that folder here, you can see that there's a number of different uh, colors that uh, I can apply. Now, since our model is a fairly warm color, uh, what I want to do is apply a fairly cool uh, color template. Uh, I'm going to select this blue one and we'll see what happens here. You can see that once I do that, it really tones down her, uh, her skin tone. It seems a bit more, more of a natural uh, color here. Um, now if I want to make further adjustments to that, I'm going to go into my uh, skin refinement section here. In the skin refinement, you can see that's the color that's being applied to the model here. Uh, that's, the, that's the skin tone that's being applied. It's blended in with her natural skin tone. Uh, so what I can do is I can actually adjust that. If I go into uh, select the swatch there, I can go in there and I can maybe increase the, the amount of blue, for example. Press OK. You can see that it really brightens up her, uh, her complexion there. It's less of a dark blue and more of a brighter blue. We can adjust the amount of skin tone as well. Um, if we wanted to apply more, you can, really, you can really brighten up her face there. Let's just leave it at something around uh, 50 for now. And this will increase the strength of the overall effect um, up top here. We want to keep that a little bit lower as well. But you can see when I do that though, that you can see which areas of her face are being affected here. And notice that uh, the, uh, her body, there's quite a significant difference here between the color of her body and the color of her neck there. So what we want to do is we want to take that strength down first of all. Something about 50. And we want to actually go into our masking tools here. And you can see in our masking tools, this is where that uh, foundation, that skin color change is being applied. So if I hold shift, I can click and drag my, and pan my image there. What I want to do is I want to brush um, the rest of her uh, body there. So I'm going to maybe increase our brush size a little bit, something like that. We don't have to be too accurate and increase the strength. Something like that will do. Now I'll just bring this panel out of the way here. When I draw over top of our model, uh, her body, um, pay attention to the image on the right, how the uh, skin tone of her body will change. We'll just uh, do a quick job of that. We're not going to go too close to the edge there. If you have more time, you feel free to uh, feel free to go into more detail here. You can see there that that really uh, adjusted the color of her uh, her entire body. You can see there's a little bit of a um, edge along the. Uh, a little bit of darkness along the edge of her uh, body there. We can just adjust that really quickly. Anyways, that's just to show you that uh, the effect that masking will have on the entire body versus just the face. Okay, so let's close down the masking panel here. And you can see we've already made a fairly nice color adjustment. Um, she looks a little bit less, uh, a little bit less like a carrot, more like a natural person here. Um, but what we want to do as well, maybe um, just to complement her uh, her nice new skin tone, so we can go back and we can actually. Uh, Go into blush here, and we can apply just a nice blush to add some more color to her face. Because since we took a lot of the color away, uh, let's just apply maybe a cherry, cherry template here. You can see that adds some nice natural color into her cheeks there. Uh, that's quite a nice effect there. All right, so that's that's all we're going to deal with uh, with this particular model here. 
Um, for my next model here, I'm going to open up a new project here. This one has already been uh, fit as well. So we'll just open up this model here. You'll notice that this model has a fairly uh, a little bit of a darker skin tone. What we're really going to do is we're really going to bring out the uh, the natural uh, radiance in her in her skin, uh, maybe lighten it up a little bit and brighten up uh, a lot of her features. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just go into the makeover section again, and we're going to actually go into um, the uh, skin foundation here and skin refinement. And for this one, we're going to apply a mocha template since, since, since that's a little bit closer to her natural skin tone, the mocha color. You can see when I apply that, it doesn't really make much of a difference. In fact, it actually darkens the skin a little bit. That's okay though. We can actually uh, go over to the swatch here on the, uh, the color swatch on the image or on the beauty center here on the right. We'll just select that. And we can raise up the brightness even until it's almost like a little bit of a, almost a tan color there, a tan beige color and press OK. And you can see the effect that that has. It just really brightens up the uh, the model's face. And we can adjust the amount of skin tone that we're applying there. If we go down to zero, you can see it's just uh, like the normal skin tone. And we can increase that to uh, whatever we want. Maybe something like 90 will be okay. And we can also increase the strength of the overall effect. Uh, it's a little bit too washed out. You, you don't want to have a too, too much of a washed out appearance. Um, just remember to keep it uh, more natural looking. And we can even go here and compare in, in the slider view the difference that that made. So you go, that's just a few simple clicks and we've actually just uh, changed the entire skin tone of the model. That was totally subjective up to you. Um, there's different uh, different scenarios, so whatever you want to, uh, whatever sort of color you want to apply to your model's face, just make sure you're bringing out the natural radiance, the natural beauty of that, of that particular model. All right, so that's all we're gonna do for this model here. Let's go into, uh, we're gonna import in one more, one more image here first. And this is going to be the opposite. Um, this is going to be, we're going to be adding more color to this model here. So in the previous two uh, examples, I kind of took, took color away, kind of equalized the skin tone a bit more. Uh, for this example, you can see she's fairly pale, almost like she came out of a, a Twilight movie. But uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fix that right away. So we'll go over into the makeover section here right away. And for this particular model, we're going to go to skin refinement. We're not going to use one of these color correction templates. In fact, we're going to just go into the female skin uh, default templates here and use this healthy template. Since the pale skin looks a little bit unhealthy, you can see that it applies a nice little subtle uh, glow to her face there. Um, and here's the color that's being applied. And of course, you can adjust the amount of skin tone that's being applied there. Let's take a look at how that looks. If you wanted to uh, add the strength. We don't want anything too extreme. Maybe something like that will do. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. And of course you can see that her chest is a little bit uh, brighter as well. So we can fix that with the same way we did with the previous model. So our masking tools, increase our brush size there, uh, hardness and strength. Um, I'm just going to do a quick, quick run through here and uh, pay attention to the image on the, uh, on the right, how that changes. Once I'm finished applying this, uh, this mask here, there we go. You can see that that adds a nice subtle, uh, subtle glow. We can even add more, another layer as well. Strengthen it a little bit. There you go. All right, so we'll close down our masking tools here. And if I zoom out, you can see that already it looks a little bit more natural, a little bit more uh, tan and beautiful. Um, and of course, if we go back here, this applied like an eye bag uh, reduction template. Uh, we don't need to fool around with this that, that much right now, but if you wanted to, you can decrease the amount of eye bags on the model. Uh, it's totally up to you. There's a mask, uh, masking section under the eyes. We want to make it look still look a little bit more natural, so we'll just leave that the way it is. And um, you can see when I applied that healthy template, uh, it may may have washed out the uh, the skin texture on the uh, on the model a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, skin foundation, skin refinement icon and skin texture. Zoom in here really closely. You can see that I can increase the, uh, the level of the uh, skin texture and pay attention to, uh, you know, for example, her forehead. I'm just gonna add a little bit more texture to her skin there to make it appear more natural. See if we add a lot of exaggeration, you can see the effect that that will have. It's a little bit too grainy. I'm gonna maybe bring it down to something about 50 or 60 just so it maintains that appearance of, of, a, of a texture. OK, 
Okay, so that's how you can really, uh, if you adjust it, your skin tone and it, and it ends up washing out your, your model's face a little bit, you can uh, counteract that by using the, uh, the uh, skin texture settings. All right, and also when I when I changed her skin tone here, well, this ear this ear is kind of bothering me as well. <laughs> See the ear is a little bit of a different color from the rest of her face there as well. Let's give her some color on her ear there. All right, now uh, you'll also notice that her lips, um, her pale lips, don't really match the, uh, the new skin tone uh, skin tone either. So um, let's go back into the uh, facial makeup section. I'll go to our lips, and let's just apply a nice uh, light color here, something like this. Uh, this nude color here, and that'll just apply a nice pink uh, color to our lips. We can, um, you know, adjust the level of that, increase it, um, increase the strength, maybe even increase, uh, change the, adjust the uh, color a little bit to this uh, this pink color here. Add a little bit more color. The uh, result is totally up to you. We just want to make it look a bit more natural, so we won't add too much. Uh, we won't add too much of a level there. Um, and if you increase or decrease this blur radius here, uh, that'll blend in further uh, with the surrounding skin. Um, okay, so that's uh, that looks fairly good right there. Um, yeah, we just wanted to give her a more uh, more healthy look, more healthy overall appearance. So let's close down our uh, content manager and, and beauty center there. And we'll use the uh, slider view so I can show you exactly uh, a better example of, of the uh, change we made here. You can see that she goes from very pale to uh, a lot more of a natural and healthy, uh, healthy skin tone. All right, so those are, those are just some examples of how you can adjust uh, skin tone using some templates as well as uh, um, slider adjustments and face filter three. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at developer at realusion.com or else uh, stay tuned for more of our uh, face filter three tutorials.